From Washington, this is VOA News. I'm David Byrd reporting a ceasefire has begun in Syria with nearly 100 groups committed to observing a cessation of hostilities. The truce, brokered by the United States and Russia, took effect at midnight Damascus time. The Syrian opposition's umbrella group, the High Negotiations Committee, said in a statement Friday that 97 groups have promised to take part in the ceasefire. Less than an hour before the temporary truce went into effect, members of the U.N. Security Council unanimously endorsed the deal in New York. U.S. Ambassador Samantha Power said the resolution offers hope that the violence in Syria could end. This resolution endorses a set of practical, concrete steps, along with terms to which the parties to the conflict must commit to reduce the violence and create space for a long overdue political transition. At the same meeting, UN envoy Stefan de Mistera announced that he would, that if the truce holds, that is, and humanitarian aid continues, he would reconvene intra Syrian peace talks in Geneva on March 7th. The truce does not apply to the Islamic State and the al-Qaeda-linked al-Nusra front terror groups currently operating in Syria. Iranians cast their ballots Friday for the first time since the country's nuclear deal with world powers took effect. Some 55 million Iranians were registered to vote for members of the conservative-dominated parliament as well as the 88-member Assembly of Experts. The vote might provide the first clue as to whether key Western proponents of the nuclear deal will receive what they hoped for, a more moderate, open Iran. This is VOA News. Republican U.S. presidential candidate Donald Trump has won the endorsement of one of his former rivals, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie who says that Trump has the best chance to win the November election. Trump said the two men had decided to wait until a stop in Texas Friday to make the announcement. Chris and I met the other day, and he said this whole thing, and he called it the same thing. Donald, I've never seen anything like it. It's a movement. I have never seen anything like it. So we shook hands, and I said, let's keep it as a secret for the people in Texas. Let's do it. Christie's announcement made him the first major party figure to endorse the billionaire real estate mogul. The endorsement could give Trump a boost ahead of next week's crucial Super Tuesday nominating contests in which 12 states hold primaries or caucuses. Meanwhile, on the Democratic Party side, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders face off Saturday in the South Carolina primary. Clinton has won the Iowa and Nevada caucuses, while Sanders took the New Hampshire primary. The International Football Federation has elected Johnny Infantino as its new president at the Congress in Zurich. As Henry Ridgewell reports from London, the 45-year-old Infantino has promised to reorganize world football's scandal-tainted governing body. Gianni Infantino won with a majority in the second round of voting, gaining 115 votes from the representatives of 209 nations. He pledged to rebuild the scandal-hit organization. I want to work with all of you together with all of you in order to restore and rebuild a new era in FIFA, a new era in FIFA where we can put again football in the center of the stage. Infantino won 27 more votes than his closest rival, the favorite Bahrain's Sheikh Salman Al Khalifa. Hours before the election, FIFA passed a set of reforms aimed at cleaning up its image. Many believe the reforms don't go far enough. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London. 
The U.S. economy grew at a faster pace than first thought at the end of last year, although the growth was still disappointingly slow. Friday's report from the Commerce Department says that 2015's fourth quarter saw the gross domestic product expand at a 1% annual rate. A White House economic advisor says that growth faltered late last year because of falling oil prices cutting into investments in that sector and global demands for U.S. exports slowing. On Wall Street, stock prices ended the day mixed Friday with the Dow and the S&P down, but the Nasdaq closing higher. European and Asian markets finished higher as well. I'm David Byrd in Washington. That's the latest world news from VOA.